As digital technology becomes more and more a part of our everyday lives, it's natural that the use of technology in classrooms also increases. By embedding ICT across the curriculum, from pre-primary to year 12, it increases student engagement and contributes to improved learning outcomes. As part of integrating technology, NAPLAN will move to an online assessment, bringing new opportunities for schools to embrace ICT and support improved teaching and learning in our classrooms. The benefits of implementing um, ICT across the school is that it gives students access to a bigger classroom. A global classroom is an, a way to look at it in that they can access things that otherwise they wouldn't be able to access. Digital Technologies has developed rapidly at Ashdale Secondary College over the last seven years, but that's because we've had a very strong vision and implemented strategic and operational plans to make that happen. We developed a laptop one-to-one -one program which we started off with one year group, and over the years we've now developed policies, protocols and structures to take that laptop one-to-one -one program from year seven to year 12. We've also worked very closely with our cluster primary schools, taking the laptop one-to-one -one program all the way back to grade four. It's important to embed ICT early, especially in pre-primary, because it's an age where intervention is very important. Some students come to school not having as much um, knowledge and understanding of letters and sounds and numbers, so at this age, getting them to record their voice um, or demonstrate understanding through recording a video or taking a photo is very um, important and shows their understanding of what they know. So I use ICT in pre-primary in different ways. It depends on what our learning objective is and what I'm hoping for the children to achieve. From pre-primary, we're embedding and integrating the skills that they need um, to complete the online testing by year three. At this um, point in time in the year, because we are so early on, they're voice recording because they're still learning to read and to write. Um, and as they've started to develop those skills in reading and writing, they can type on the keyboards, they can create things on Book Creator, they can start to maybe do Google searches and things like that by typing in keywords that I've modelled to them just to support and extend them on topics that we're learning about. The introduction um, of ICT skills in the early years is really important because as students move through the years, the technical requirements become a lot more specific and a lot more high demanding and the access to a wider range of technologies obviously demands more skill and ability. I've developed my ideas for embedding ICT in the early years curriculum through firstly making a table of what activities I was doing in the classroom and how I could enhance those further um, by using technology. And from there, I visited Connect and joined a couple of groups on Connect as well as other online resources to get some ideas. At Ashdale Secondary College, we have a whole school approach to embedding technologies into teaching and learning programs. We provide staff the opportunity to share, reflect, uh, attend professional learning that's tailored to their needs. During some of our professional learning sessions, we ask teachers to bring their curriculum and their programs to the sessions and we have experts and mentors sit with them and help them find ways to embed technologies into their teaching practice. We also find that by providing students access to the newest technologies, for example, 3D printers, Lego robotics, GoPro cameras, Swivel Pros, we're allowing them to learn in new creative ways, which is preparing them for the future. We work very hard to also make sure that we've upskilled staff. We've looked for outside partnerships that we're able to use to offer professional development to staff. We regularly update that professional development. I think there's a lot of positives in transitioning to NAPLAN online. One of the positives is the test is tailored to suit individual students' needs. We also know research has shown that students are highly engaged when using technology, so by providing them the opportunity for them to do this test online, we know they'll be engaged with it to a high level. The benefits of online testing for students is that it's a medium that many of them are comfortable with. In fact, in some cases, they probably find more engaging and more familiar than using the standard pen and paper. 
The approach that we take to embed technologies into the secondary curriculum has been received very positively by students, parents and the wider community. Um, we, t we spend a lot of time making sure that we communicate what we're doing with parents as their stakeholder in this. We always make sure that our newsletter articles are current and up to date and showcasing the amazing work that staff and students are doing. The school community has really received using ICT in the classroom very well. Parents can see a lot more of what's going on in the classroom. There's no barrier of the walls of the classroom anymore. They can see through online forums what their child's doing, what they need to support at home. And students are really excited to create things and make animations and uh, make movies and stuff like that in the class, something that they normally maybe wouldn't get a chance to do. So having resources like iPads and MacBooks give them that opportunity to do those things. To find out more about the transition to NAPLAN online, visit education.wa.edu.au.